Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it's Leeds, it is episode 10 of What Was the Bottom of Christmas Challenge. I still haven't got a name for the rest of the save. I do not know what we're going to call it. Anyhow, in today's episode we have a double header, one in the Cabaret Cup and, and then a league game against Aston Villa. I was actually arming and ahhing to bring you the game against Man United and then Sunderland as that double header, but I kind of said that we've kind of played United, we've played Spurs, who are after this Villa game, we've seen Liverpool in a YouTube video. I was kind of like, look, I haven't shown you guys against a team sort of around our mark in the league, except for when we were fighting relegation. So I thought we'll do that, and I didn't think we were going to go on this sort of run of form right before it. We changed into the 4-2-4, like I said last episode. Um, we went and beat Wigan. We played okay against City, played mainly 4-4-1-1 there, though. Um, and then we beat Fulham. Against Bournemouth, we won 2-0. Miss Lido made about seven outstanding saves again, an 8.0. And then against United, we battered them, boys. And we won 3-0. First game on stream. Links down below. Come watch us live on Twitch. You know the drill. There's currently lockdown in South Australia where I live. So a lot of this week... When this video comes out, I will be working because I'm an essential worker and then streaming because I've got nothing else to do. Anyway, Rodrigo got us off to a great start 1-0. As you can see here from the expected goals, it was a very even game. And you can see by the stats, we kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with United. We kind of said, nope, we're playing 4-2-4 and we're coming after you. And oh boy, did we go after them indeed. And we had a great performance from everybody. Miss and I made a couple of outstanding saves, especially one against Matriol, where he dove backwards and covered the whole goal from a cutback and made the save at 2-0, which could have changed the game. In the end, though, a bit of a longer ball there into Morales. Heads down, Rodrigo sends the hay the wrong way. Uh, I do love that animation when keepers go at feet and you kind of just send them the wrong way, or um, especially the chip animation when it's on. Not when Morales did it last episode. Um, and then for 2-0, um, this we need to watch the full run because this goal here from Callum Wilson is just exceptional. We're going to start from the corner. It was cleared away by Koch, and Harry Wilson picks it up here. Let him go. He leaves two for dead. He's got, obviously, Aaron Ramsey, who tries to bring him down cynically, keeps his feet. De Gea comes. De Gea's beat. It's two. Harry Wilson, what a goal. And then to make it all so nice, in we went into halftime in Dreamland. Um, we had the highlight here. Um, and we just thought it was highlight over here in the 45th minute. Um, it's a great side by Miss Lyre, as you can see there. And then if we can go... I don't know what's going on here. Rodrigo, goal? That is really odd. All right, 10 seconds, because we get a goal on the break. I don't know what's it doing in behind chat. Uh, all it is, we get the ball on the break. Rafinha gets fouled here. We then whip in the cross from the free kick and we score. Um, you haven't missed much, but yeah. Uh, obviously, that was that save from Miss Light 2-0, which was absolutely outstanding. In the Cabaret Cup, though, we are going a little bit of a run. I said that maybe that's one of our goals to go on a little bit of a run. We're into the fourth round. If you have a look, second round, we've got Fleetwood, who are currently 10th in League 1. We then picked Wigan, who are currently 3rd in League 1. And now we've picked Sunderland, who are 18th in League 1. We're going on a little bit of a run. Max Power, by the way. I'm glad he's captain because I had him um, and Bright Lights, and he was really good for me in those first couple of seasons. Anyhow, in terms of the table, we're 11th. And in terms of today's game, there is a few teams. You know, Liverpool going to knock out Chelsea, or Chelsea going to knock out Liverpool. Which way it's, it's fine. Ipswich and Burnley, don't, you would imagine Burnley get through, and Everton going to get through there. It may open up for us if we were to get through this tie. The way this video is gonna work is hopefully we win this game, we see the quarterfinal draw in three days time, and then these guys get Villa as well. In terms of my game today, um, Cody did start actually against um, against Man United, but I am starting him here again because Luke Ayling's form has been a little bit interesting. Koch and Pascal, I was gonna play Creswell, but he's suspended. Dallas is coming in at left back to provide a little bit of um, a rest there for, what's his name there? Uh, Eliza. Um, Shackleton and Kenny normally play um, you normally play Mateus, but uh, just hasn't been training as great. So we're going to give Noah Kenny some game. McCoon Street, Costa, Rodrigo, and Sam Greenwood. So a bit of a rotated side. And another reason why I brought you this episode, you get to see a little bit more of the younger depth in this sort of game as well. Kiko Casilla, though, has been in great form and makes way for Capril. Um, no, I'm going to back in Elia. Um, back him in, the young, the young keeper. He's not bad as well as a young Ellie. Um, and there we are. He's been in really good form as well. And we are going to get into this. The boys have looked really happy with this one here. And now we just have to go out there and we have to beat Sunderland. And that's what we're here for. Not to be boiled over to beat them. Um, they've got Max Power starting as well. Edmonton has a little bit of... Um, Edmonton and Jack Diamond usually have a little bit of potential. Bailey Wright, the Australian, is there on the bench. Did not know that. Uh, but yeah, it's a side that we should be beating. That is for sure. Yeah, do that. Why not? 
Um, and we are just going to go and just tell the boys that we should be going to back up what the media says. Quickly, tactically, I'm going to move McKinstry into a winger because he's definitely better like that as well. Um, and I think that's all we're going to do there. I'm going to ask the assistant here to see what he wants to do. Um, and to be fair, against a team like this, I will go and press vigorously because they're not as good as us on the ball, technically. Anyway, we're going to be in the white. Sunderland there in their, you know, in their darker colours, not in there, obviously, the red and black, which I don't know why they're not wearing it, but who cares? And four minutes in, we have a highlight. Score prediction in the chat as well, by the way, guys. As Pascal wins the ball, Rodrigo beats one, and away goes Rodrigo. What a tackle, but it falls to Sam Greenwood. And to be fair in this competition, Sam Greenwood has scored goals. And it's his third of the year. And Sam Greenwood makes it 1-0. And the blue touch paper is well and truly lit, as they would say in England. And there we are. In the end, I thought Rodrigo was just going to finish this. It was actually a pretty good tackle from Hume, who came across. But in the end, Leeds United won. Sunderland nil. Our first chance has gone in. It's exactly what you want to see. All right. They are really liking this 4-2-4. Four, four, four. Another reason why we're playing it is the board was not happy our club vision in terms of attacking football. I do understand, but we have a trying to grow results in that 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one, and was the reason we stayed up. Anyhow, 30 minutes played, it is 1-0 leads, and it's a throw-in, and picked off there, and Helder Costa is quick, and we keep him around for this reason, because he's good depth, and look at him go, and Helder Costa, what a run, keeper comes, Patterson makes a pretty great save, and somehow, it has not gone out for a corner, Sam Greenwood's ball in, is cleared away by Max Power, and Sunderland survive, and it is still a 1-0 leads. And it's a corner here, and Helder Costa whips it. Sam Greenwood heads, and it's his second of the game. He is a guy that we decided not to loan out. We loaned out Joe. Joe's having a really good time in the championship, by the way. But Sam Greenwood is an under-19 goal-scoring specialist for England. And, well, he's showing a little bit here in the cup competitions. And there's definitely someone I like having around the club, because he does generally develop pretty well and has a lot of potential, the 19-year-old. And he scored a couple here today against his former Sunderland side. I think he was here on loan. Anyway, Rodrigo from distance. Don't see free kicks go in anyway, and too much more. And Patterson has denied him there of a great save to his right as well. But as things stand, we're 2 new to the good and we're looking all right. McKinstry is another one of these young kids that has been developing, had a really good preseason, maybe gone a little bit missing in actual season. The 23s are having a really good year. But yeah, and we're getting away with Capril and goals. To be fair, Capril has been really good. So has Kiko, so... Backup keeper wise, we're actually really, really happy. Two new at half time. Our expected goal ratio has been great, and theirs hasn't even looked like lifting off the floor. I am very, very, very happy with that. We might get Rodrigo off here pretty early as well, just save the legs on the lad, especially with us playing Villa coming up soon. You know, like maybe even now. Uh, we'll let this highlight go as McKinstry whips one towards Patterson, who makes no mistake. It's a pretty poor ball in from the young little winger. And maybe a chance to break here with Sunderland in the end. It's well won by Noah Kenny. But it falls here to Kim, who lays it bare into... Look, I want to call that guy ScoMo because it's SCO. And for those that live in Australia and know who our, pre uh, our president is, our prime minister is, there we are. In the end, blocked and cleared. It's, it's like Scoan, but like... Because it's got SCO, and we call that Sco. And that's ScoMo. I don't know. Maybe it's my brain. It's maybe been in that work for 28 hours in the last three days trying to deal with COVID customs. Anyway, ball's run out of play. It's 2 0 Leeds. It doesn't matter. Focus back up on the game, boys. Saying that, though, Leeds are uh, maybe falling off the ball here. Some of them getting a little bit of possession in their own half. And never mind, we're going on the break with Helder Costa. Just as we were worrying, Helder's going to go and make it 3 0, aren't you, Helder? Yes, you are. Helder Costa's first of the season. Pretty good run. You can't give him the ball like that. Because he will just go. And in the end, Helder does it by himself. It's 3-0. It's game over. The moment we start worrying that, ooh, okay, Sunderland coming to play here second half. Helder Costa goes, don't worry, boss. It's okay, boss. I'll just slot one. It's fine. And it's 3-0. And we are motoring into the quarterfinal here of the cup. With that in mind, we are going to go get our Fredo in up top. Um, yeah, we are. We're going to go get our Fredo in up top. I'm just trying to think. Um... Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Yes. I was trying, trying to think if we get Boyadu's on. Um, Jamie's looking complacent. We'll get, we get Mateus in. And there we go. And 65 minutes played. It should be okay. 
no time will tick. I don't think there's any other youngsters on the bench, is there? Anyone else that's quite young here on the bench? Not really. You know, we'll keep Luke Ayling happy by playing him over Cody, who's not had his best of game out here. I find that fullbacks are getting absolutely picked on rating-wise. I don't understand why as to why yet. Is that John Flanagan? It's not. I was going to say, John Flanagan wouldn't be at Sunderland. Anyway, we've dominated Sunderland. 0.08. That is defensively what you want to see. We have looked good. Yet again, goalkeeper hasn't touched the ball with 6.4. I don't understand why that's such a bad rating. Maybe it's something that SI might have to look at here with the beta is the ratings. But yes, we're through. It's all that matters. We have beaten Sunderland in the fourth round. Um, get rid of that quickly. We'll just see what the other results are. Everton got past Barnsley 1-0 in the 76th. Ipswich, unfortunately, lost in a very valiant effort, and Chelsea pumped Liverpool, which wasn't expected at Anfield, but it is what it is. Probably makes it a little bit easier for us if we want to get through. I I'd also don't get why coaches do that when um they say stuff like that, because clearly we battered them. And yeah, but anyway, I'll see these guys in just a second. What day is it? I think it's like the 28th. It's the day before we play Villa. Oh, my God. Don't save the game. Okay. Thought it was crashing. I'll see you guys in a second, YouTube. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, YouTube. It's the quarterfinal draw of the EFL Cup. All I'm going to say is there were some upsets. Pompey knocked out Arsenal. Uh, City got through on penalties against Luton. Um, and there is some teams in this draw that you don't mind popping. You don't mind, you don't mind Pompey. You don't mind Reading. Chelsea knocked out Liverpool. Burnley, you don't mind as well. Look... Chelsea or City, you know you're up against it. Everton is going to be tough. And then Burnley wouldn't be bad. And then obviously Watford's okay. Pompey or Reading would be nice. City, not us, please. Oh, <gasps> that is perfect. I know I'm getting excited at the EFL Cup draw. But the fact City drew Chelsea makes our run home into the semi-final so much easier. I said I wanted to make the semi-finals competition. And Leeds United get drawn out. I want Reading. Give me Reading. Reading by Everton. No. Watford gets Pompey and Burnley get Reading. Hey, look, it probably means if one of these championship sides can get up and we knock Everton out, not a drama. That will be your next episode, wherever that is. When is that? It's on the 15th of December. Jeez, that's a long way away. Yeah, that, that will be an episode, boys. That will be... Um, I'll probably do an Everton Palace doubleheader, is what I'll do. Judging on those fixtures, I will do an Everton Palace doubleheader. Um, for the next episode. But we do have Aston Villa, and instead of me cutting away to the Villa game, I am going to probably <laughs> send the assistant and just let you guys stay here quickly as well. Um, don't mind me. Didn't mean to do that. And we're just going to go and do that and see how we go. I've got hiccups. I don't understand where that's come from either. Chelsea lead, we get a scout report on this guy here. The 18-year-old is wanted by a lot of clubs. Can I get some more scout reports on the 18-year-old? He's been capped by Lithuania four times. We're currently 121st in the world. Makes sense he's being capped. He's okay. And Alfredo has been training well. We'll tell him that as well. We'll continue on. Villa coming up in 13. If we can win this game, we'd be massive. My stream did put up the fact that if we win the games, we beat United, we'll probably lose this game here. But we'll wait and we'll see. Oh, what have I got hiccups for? Far out. Anyway, a few games before us, we got obviously that City Brighton game. Oh, actually, we're at 3 o'clock, never mind. But with a late kickoff, that is really. Hiccups are. Ah, I, I call this episode hiccups, you know why. Hiccups. I'm calling episode 10 Hiccups. Oh my goodness. City win 2 0. We are not making changes. That is your that is your team. We will get there eventually. In saying that though, I wouldn't mind Creswell starting. Koch has played a lot of football late. Right? We'll get Creswell out there. I know that could be a bit of a gamble here, but you know, the kid's good. The 19 year old kid is good. And we need to get him playing. Luke Ayling is starting. Mesler obviously in goals. Cresswell, Lorente, Olaiza, Tonali, Phillips, Wilson. Helder Costa did score in the last game. I am going to drop him here. And we are going to bring Rafinha back into the team. 
as well. Morales and Rodrigo up top. Score predictions in the chat. Twitch chat. Everybody looks good. Everybody's got nothing really bad to say. Hopefully it'll be alright. Since getting turning on, getting stuck in, and making us a little bit more attacking, we've been really good. Anyway, it's a decent Villa side, that one there. You know, Grealish, McGinn, Bernard Taylor always there. Reese N Nelson's now there. Martinez is in goals. It is not a bad Joe Aribo from... Can't you sign Mike Maduka? I can't. Can't, Ali. I wish. Um, I doubt he's a coach as well, but if he is, I'll pick him up. We'll have a look after this. Um, we've got to move into the opposition instructions here. We'll do that and leave it as it is. Uh, my team picks itself. He's a fine player. Hoping we can get more out of him. <laughs> Villa in their famous colours. We're in the, the white. Just bear with the voice. We are hiccuping everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, the title, epi I'm writing it in my book. Episode 10. Call it hiccups. Stop hiccuping. As Eliza gets down this left-hand side with a good ball now, Fredo Morales. Got numbers with, with him. Steady beats the challenge. Get oh my god, what a run! Yeah, Nathan, we're trying to. I'm an essential worker, so we're working. Nathan, obviously, asking about our lockdown here in SA. Uh, but yeah, it, it does mean that we will be uh, streaming a lot more FM, Nathan, because there's nothing else we can do. Can't go play golf. <laughs> Morales, though, great run from him here. He actually gets kind of tackled there by Rossi Ario, and then in the end as well. And Villa, I wonder. Down inside 10 minutes. We really do like this 4 2 4. Anyway, Rodrigo Mings clears it. But, you know, Mr. Charlie Creswell gets on it. He's good on the ball, this young kid. And that's a ball and a half to Luke Ayling. He flings it in. Morales' effort is blocked. It was motoring towards goals. And probably deserved to put us in the lead by two. But unfortunately, it's still only one. Anyway, the ball in from Eliza is decent, but cleared. And now he's on it again. The fullback. He's good with the ball. Finds Charlie. Creswell, Tonali now, knows how to recycle, finds Rafinha, and now he looks inside Charlie, Tonali. In the end, what a ball, Alfredo, keeper came, didn't get there. In the F, in the end, it's going to be disallowed for offside. How are you, Dim? Good to see you. You missed the United game. It's going to still only be 1-0, but what a start from us so far. We've had a goal disallowed. Could have had a second as well. In the end, he's off. Oh my, he's on by a mile. No, VAR. No. 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 Oh, no. I know they programmed to get him wrong, but VAR should check that and make that all good. What a ball from Tonali. This should count. Oh, my goodness gracious. I thought he was well off. <laughs> Douglas Luiz has kept him well on. Look at this. He's still on side there. The ball's already been played. <laughs> Hiccups. Oh, my guys. That is utterly, utterly, utterly disgusting from VAR. And there you go. Still only 1-0, and wrongly, by a mile. That should be given offside, and then VAR should overturn that. VAR, where are you? In the end, it's only 1-0 leads in a game that we really should be two goals up in. Anyway, Mislar puts Tanali under a little bit of pressure, but he does so well. <laughs> Rafinha beats his man. Still with Rafinha. Morales, in goal-scoring form, heads it, puts it over. These hiccups are going to be the end of me. 35 minutes played. It is 1-0 lead. Should be 2. It is. Fulham are beating United 2-0. So we smack United. Now Fulham smacking it. Harry Wilson, great touch. Inside blocked. <laughs> Rafinha. Eliza knows how to hit him here from fullback. Gets to the byline. Puts it in there, Rafinha. What a finish. Car, thank you for the raid, my man. Thank you for the raid. How was your stream, my boy? Boys, if you haven't followed Car, which you should do, go check him out. In the end, great finish here from Rafinha. Opens his body. I love that animation. Just opens it and just goes, yeah, thanks. I cushioned that one in. And there we are. Dimmy, thank you for the shout out for Car. In the end, Tanali now, he YouTube, puts the ball into the box. Hey, Tylo Mings finds Reese Nelson. A goal right now for Villa. 
We will get him back into this game. At the moment, it's been all us, and Calvin Phillips has done well. These hiccups, man. Oh, Nelson, Bernard Taore. Still going, ball in, headed over. Happy girlfriend, happy life, guys. At half time, we're doing really well. Really good. How's yours going? You just started. Yeah, man, we're only an hour into the stream. Um, we've tinkered with this 4 2 4 this morning before work. <laughs> Hiccups again. And we beat United 3 0 first game since then, haven't lost. I'm very pleased with the performance, boys. Start the second half, and away we go. I'm glad yours went really well as well, Car. Anyway, Creswell now finds Lorente. Highlight from kickoff, Tanali, who's been in a lot better form since we've changed in this 4 2 4. Rodrigo now, Harry Wilson driving, his ball in block. Luke Ailing, good ball. Morales good in the air, unfortunately, though. Probably just a bit beyond him. Couldn't really control the header or direct it downwards. Still 2 0 all over him, though. And we are on key highlights, and yet again, it's another one as Jack Gurrias finds McGinn. And we have just stifled, stifled this Villa attack. As we say, that Reese Nelson, though, with a chance to run at people, and he does, comes inside, beats a couple in the end well wide. The first real chance for Villa, it has to be said. <laughs> this high, this guy, I'm going for a little bit. One of my viewers just recommended I use a 44 of a false nine as one of the struggles. Seems to be okay so far. Yeah, I'm playing with a complete forward instead of a false nine, but definitely, definitely, 424 for me is working really nice as well, it seems. Anyway, Eliza finds Morales. Great touch from the former Rangers boy. Still going in the end. What a save from Emilio Martinez. Dimmy on his birthday gets exams cancelled. That's exactly what you want, Dim. Happy birthday as well, my man. You got all the time in the world to play FIFA now, Dim. Anyway, Reese Nelson, this game is... Oh, I thought Ailing was off. I thought Luke Ailing was off, boys. Anyway, ball. Headed into Rodrigo. Still going, Rodrigo. Keep going, Rodrigo. Kolarov does well. Rodrigo should beat him for days. Anyway, that ball there, the Jack Grealish and Lewis pumps it. They have nothing. Look at our shape. Lorente now. Tonali, Calvin. Tonali. Oh my, what a ball. Oh. If he picked that pass, oh my days, boys. Oh my days. Anyway, ball goes long and. Please save me, Miss Lyle. Can you read this for me? <gasps> yeah, I can. Yours is still in the yeah. It's 2 1, boys. Hiccups and all. We should have put this game to dead. We should have put this game beyond doubt. We should be like 3 or 4 0 up. In the end, it's a long ball. It's a good kick from Martinez. I don't think defensively we could have done too much more about that. But yeah. Makes this game interesting. Ball in. We haven't scored from too many corners. They're on the break. Ah, oh, FM. Nah, nah, nah. We're, we're, we're doing this episode for hiccups and all. You do not FM me out of a game. Luke Ayling, Tonali, good ball. Harry Wilson now. That's a ball and a half to Morales. Okay, finish that. Make it 3-1. Thank you very much. Oh, come on, boys. Just put the game beyond doubt. Code is coming in there. I know Luke Ayling is playing well and on a booking, but I don't want him sent off. We don't need to be to 10 men in a game. We're dominating in. There is no need. We've had four shots on target. Come on, boys. Yeah, Dan, I'm with you. Harley return goals to the corners. Anyway, McGinn now. They are finding a little bit too much for the middle of the park for my liking. I don't particularly want to go 4 4 1 1 and invite the pressure either. <laughs> but if we were to score right now from this long ball, which Rodrigo does fine. All right, just please for. <laughs> Have a good one, Car. 2 1. And there we are. Just gonna move to Nali, just to defend. I was gonna maybe bring him off, but I'm not. I'm actually gonna bring Helder Costa on for Rafinha, who's got a bit of a knock. We'll go like that. I will keep the system the same to the 85th, 85th minute. I would like a third. If they score, I will be livid. Like, if you guys have seen me rage, I would be absolutely that's offside. Hey, flag. <laughs> flag, linesman, come on, man. You just called one down the other end that was clearly on by three and a half freaking meters. <laughs> Thank you, VR. VR missed ours, but I'm then going to disallow this. Thank you. 
miles off. Well, maybe not as far off as I thought. There we are. 82 minutes in a game that we have dominated. That is a good kick out from Miss Lyre. Good overlapping run too. He should have been played out to our fullback. Calvin Phillips has done superb. Harry Wilson, good ball. Rodrigo shoulder him down the drain. He just had to put it into the space. Anyway, good from Calvin. Morales, Rodrigo, Morales. Rodri oh my, he's hit the bar. It was a world-class hit from a world-class player. Fortunately for us, though, didn't return a goal. Stuart Dull is going to come in here for Harry Wilson as a defensive winger and defend. I'm just going to move into our 4 4 1 1 system, which just focuses on us having a little bit more shape. And now we're just going to go very defensive here, too. And we are just going to go at a much lower tempo and waste time a little bit more. And there we go. Confirm that change. And now, surely we hold on. And what has been a very eventful game. Full time, 2-1, we deserve to have won that game by five goals, at least. 19 shots we just had, only five on target. A goal disallowed by being a mile on side. I still can't believe this was disallowed, to be fair. Cannot believe this was disallowed, to be fair. The fact that VAR checked it and said that it was offside is a bit of a joke. Because I don't understand. This ball from Tonali, just, just have a look at Tegels Louise here. He's well on. Am I, I'm, I'm not blind, right? He is well on. He's well on. Uh, he is well on. Like... I'm going to investigate this further, but he is well on. He's even onside there. The ball's left his foot. <laughs> I don't understand. He's still onside here. Man, if we drew or lost that game, they would have copped an absolute pounding in the press. Like, you do not understand. I would have lost it in the press in the end. Uh, that would deserve to be a goal. That Tonali pass is one of the best passes I've seen this year in, in the match engine. Thank Christ, huh? A 2-1 win against Villa to round off the episode. You know next episode we're going to do Everton and Palace as the double header. Everton obviously in the quarterfinal with the Cabaret Cup. Going a little bit of a run. And I'm on good win, boys. Very happy with that. Let's get through this post-match press conference if there is one. And then end the episode. And hopefully we're inside the top 10. Since this change in the 4-2-4, boys, we are on fire. We also got the hiccups. It's what it's going to be called this absolute episode. Yeah, I'm re really happy with that. We're out for a few days, but that's fine. And yeah, for me, we are in 11th, 17 points. We've now got ourselves a positive goal difference since moving to 4-2-4. I'll see you next time for that, for that Everton game and Palace. And until then, YouTube, I'll see you then. Thank you and goodbye.